Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am an independent demonstrator in the United States. Today, I have a special treat for you. The Totally Techniques design team is doing a blog hop using the faux silk technique. Whoa, this is a blast from the past. I haven't done this in a very long time. And products change over the years, so we actually don't have one of the products that we used to use to um, do this technique. So I'm gonna be showing you a new way to do it with products that you can get your hands on. I'm super excited about this one. This is such an easy and pretty technique. I think you're gonna love it. Let's flip this camera around and we will get started. I am going to be using the Awash in Beauty Designer Series paper today. This is a beautiful, beautiful pack of Designer Series paper. I also decided to crack open this Charming Sentiments. This has uh, dyes, 30 different dyes in the Sentiment Silhouette dyes, and they cut out these sentiment. So I think that is so cool. I just wanted to show this to you quick. Here's all the dies that cut out the sentiments in the stamp set. And then look at, well, there's a few more here, but look at these fun little elements to go with this. I am going to love this. I believe I'm going to be using this for my June kit class. So watch for more with this bundle coming from me because I think this is fantastic. It's very trendy right now to cut out your words and now we can just stamp them and cut them out with dies. Genius stamping up. Okay, we're also going to be using Versamark ink and white embossing powder. I've got my heat tool here. I've got some brushed brass butterflies, black dimensionals, as well as a light Flirty Flamingo Stampin' Blend marker and our, um, I think this is eighth inch crinkled seam binding. Let me see, what's the inch? Quarter inch crinkled seam binding. And adhesive sheets. Oops, let me turn this over. Adhesive sheets. You get 12 sheets that are six inches by 12 inches long. I've kind of cut most of mine up. But we're going to be using these to do our faux silk technique. I can't wait to show this to you. So let me bring in my cardstock layers here. First of all, I chose Blushing Bride as my card base. This is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. So we're just gonna burnish that edge good. And then I have a piece of four by five and a quarter basic white for the inside. I have just a little sliver of the designer series paper. This is three quarters by four. That's gonna go on the inside of our card. I've got a scrap of basic black and then also a basic black layer. This is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, the black layer. And then this is three and three quarters by five. And this is the beautiful designer series paper. So I wanted to show that to you. Look at this big print, right? You can cut this in half. You can use it to make cards. This is the sheet that I pulled out of this designer series paper. And as long as I've got this here, let me show you the rest of this because it is just so stunningly beautiful. We've got just some beautiful floral image, some very nice um, coordinating patterns and colors. I am in love with this paper. I can't get enough of it, right? We use this for our catalog kickoff, so everybody's getting some of this that ordered the catalog kickoff. If you didn't order the catalog kickoff and you'd like it, you're going to find the information about it on my blog in the right-hand column under online classes. Okay, so what I did is I took and I cut this piece and I think this one comes from right here. Yep. And so I just cut this, again, three and three quarters by five and a quarter. We're gonna go ahead and do our technique right away. We're gonna bring in these adhesive sheets. Now these are really nice because you can make stickers out of anything. You can put this on the back of your cardstock, die cut it, make stickers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this just a little bit. Well, I'm gonna cut it the same size as this, three and three quarters by five. Oh, what do I got stuck on there? 
Oh, it must be a little piece of dimensional. So three and three quarters by five. Set this aside. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some tissue paper. This is just plain white tissue paper. There is nothing special about it. It's just white tissue paper. I'm going to take my adhesive sheet and I'm going to put it on the front of my designer series paper. And so this peels off in panels, so it's just a little easier to work with, especially when you go to get it off of here, right? One piece would be a lot to handle. Oops, here we go. Okay, you want to make sure that you push that down good, get it all on there. Now we're going to take our tissue paper, and this is where you can work out a little aggression. I'm gonna just scrunch it up, just like that. <laughs> Get that aggression out. Now you're gonna open this back up, but you are not going to smooth it out, okay? We need those wrinkles in there to do our faux silk technique. So I'm going to now take my Take Your Pick tool. If you don't have one of these, this is like my favorite tool. I use it for everything. Make sure you've got that burnished good so that when you peel this off, your sticky is going to stay on the front of your designer paper. Now, I hope you can see this, but this is all sticky now. And then we're going to do this one. Those little pieces are just the backing. You just throw them away. Don't get anything stuck on here. We're not ready for that yet. And here comes another one. Okay, we are ready to put this down on our on our designer series paper. Now you could stamp up a layer, you know, with all different images and then do the same thing with the um, adhesive sheet. But I just thought how fun and easy just to use the designer paper to do this. And you're just gonna squish it down. Notice I did not smooth it out because that's what makes your faux silk technique is to have all these wrinkles in here. So that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna bring that paper trimmer back in here and we're gonna trim this just a little bit. You could use your scissors too if you wanted to, but I think you get straighter edges this way and it's just quicker and easier. It's okay if you cut off just a tiny bit of your designer paper, don't worry about that. It helps keep everything nice and square too. Look at how cool that is. Okay, we are ready to put our card together. I'm going to grab my liquid glue. Looks like it's some, <laughs> got some little messy things all over the place. Here comes that black layer that's just an eighth of an inch larger. Our margin is going to be just a little bit bigger because I did cut some off the edge of my designer paper, and that really makes it pop, right? Then, oh, this is our card front. We're not going to put that on there yet, but we can find our designer series paper. Look at that. Here it is. Hang on, it fell on the floor. I'm just going to add this to the inside. And again, this is just a three quarter inch strip, which would just normally be a scrap left in my pack so I can decorate up the inside of my card. I firmly believe that your party should not end when you open a card. There needs to be a little decoration inside. We have all of these tools at our fingertips. Let's make everything pretty, right? Okay, then faux silk technique. Now I'm going to take my Versamark ink and I am going to use the Beyond Grateful. Um, I've got two different sentiments out here, but I'm going to do Beyond Grateful. And you know what? As long as you've got this stuff out, 
stamp several of these. Stamp a whole bunch of them and emboss them all at once and die cut them. You can throw them back into your die pack or your stamp set and you can have them so that you don't have to get out all your embossing stuff next time. It just makes things so easy. Here comes our white embossing powder. Now our embossing powders come in metallics or basics. White is part of the basics. It's you get white, clear, and black in a pack, which makes it really nice to have that variety. Okay, we're going to heat set that. And then we need to grab the corresponding die that goes with this one. And I am thinking it is this one right here because I recognize the little loop-de-loops on the sides. Oops, <laughs> goes up this way. So this fits really nice and tight on here. I would secure this with a little bit of temporary tape and we're gonna die cut this. Now, another really neat thing, I also have this one that I've already stamped and die cut and embossed. A really cool thing that you can do with embossing powder is you can color it with your alcohol markers. And this is probably another technique for another day, but I wanted to share it with you because I thought this, um, this is the light flirty flamingo. This is pretty light and it's a little bit lighter than I wanted. I'm gonna grab the dark and see what that looks like. Oh yeah, this is looking a little better. So we've got dark flirty flamingo here. And I am going to, so I think I like this color and I just wanted to see how well it would go with the Blushing Bride card base and I think it goes perfectly. So I'm gonna let you decide. Well, actually this isn't live so I can't let you decide. Um, we need to figure out if we want white with the black or if we wanna go with pink that's going to match our card. So let me, <laughs> I wish you guys were live so you could tell me what I should do. I think for this one, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the pink. I think I like it. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to do is to take some of the seam binding and I want to tie a bow on here. We need a little bit of ribbon on here. So I'm just going to figure out how much seam binding I need because we can also make this match. This isn't going to look too spectacular with white on white, right? But I thought it would look really great if we colored it to match. So I've got that dark flirty flamingo, which is a pretty good match for our Blushing Bride card base. So I'm just going to color this ribbon. You might want to do this first if you're making cards, just so that it has enough drying time. Um, alcohol markers dry really quickly, but it is something you should probably do first. Set that aside, let it dry. All right, we're going to keep this rolling here because I know you guys probably all have busy days today. It's Friday here as I'm making this video. And um, one of the popular things, I'm from Wisconsin, like I said, and one of the popular things on Fridays is a Friday night fish fry. So I actually have on a shirt that says supper clubs, fish fries, and old fashions, which are all Wisconsin things. And I don't know if we're actually gonna go out for a fish fry tonight or not, but I'm always up for a fish fry and an old-fashioned and a supper club. Those are special types of um, restaurants here in the Midwest. Okay, so here's our cute little bow. Now, I'm going to take, I don't know, do I want to do the Beyond Grateful on this one or do I want to stick with it wishing you everything wonderful? I'll take a look at this. There we go. She knew everything wonderful. I think maybe, well, I think this is gonna be bigger, so I like that better. 
And I've got my black dimensionals. These are the mini dimensionals. When you order the black combo pack of dimensionals, you get the um, regular size ones and the small ones. So they both come in the same pack. And here comes that take your pick tool again. I use this for just about everything. You're, I'm not done with it yet with this card either. You're gonna see some more. But like I said, if you don't have one of those, I highly recommend adding it to your next order because it is just invaluable. It's something that I use every time I stamp. Oh my gosh, that looks so nice, doesn't it? Now we're gonna put this on our card front, make sure we're opening our card the right way since we have that inside already secured in there. Here comes our card front. And last but not least, I would like to add some brass butterflies. And I think I'm just going to add one right up here. These come in two sizes. I've almost used up this whole card. But we've got two, a small and a large. And then I think I'll take one of these smalls and put it right down here here on my sentiment. Good grief, how stinking adorable is that? And then I wanted to show you the other card that I made. So I have one that is vertical and one that's horizontal. And this one is so saffron. And then I used a so saffron stamp and blend marker to color the embossing powder. Whoops, hang on, I got garbage all over. So it's colored also like the card base. I did the same thing with the ribbon. So pretty, right? One thing I wanted to make you aware of, we only have a couple days left for our starter kit promotion. May 31st is the deadline. When you order our starter kit, you can join my team to build a business or you can join my team to get a discount. And if you're a stamper and you're in the United States, you should be getting a discount on your product. Right now, before the end of May 31st, you pay $99 and you choose $125 in any product that you want. We have a brand new catalog with so many good things in it. As a matter of fact, if you haven't ordered this jewel yet, this would be on my starter kit. So you get to choose $125, you only pay $99, and you're gonna get in color grid paper, our entire ink pad collection, full-size ink pads for our new ink colors, an assorted pack of ink color cardstock, and also the designer series paper for the new ink colors. That's $66.50 in value added on top of your $125 that you get to pick, all for $99. Free shipping, get a paper pumpkin kit, but more importantly, you get to be part of something bigger. Being part of my team is a lot of fun. We have a blast. And if you're a stamper, you should give it a try. You have nothing to lose and there are no strings attached. If you have any questions about this, you're going to find this information again on my blog. In the right-hand column, look for $99 kit and click on that little button. That'll give you all the details and a link where you can order your starter kit. And remember, May 31st is the deadline to get all of the free ink colors, and I definitely want you to have those. There's absolutely no reason if you're going to put in an order around $100 that you shouldn't do this and give it a try. Now, this is a blog hop, so you're going to want to click right up here. That's going to take you to this particular blog post. You're going to scroll down until you see the different blogs that you can click on and hop along and see everybody else's faux silk projects. I think you're gonna love them. This is a very, very talented group of people on this design team from all over the world. And I like listening to their accents, not gonna lie. This is my current host code. If you plan on placing an order and you're, if it's over $150, you're not gonna use this code. You're gonna get rewards from Stampin' Up! and I want you to have those. If your order's under $150, please use this code. But more importantly, consider getting the starter kit. Again, nothing to lose. I will never push you to do anything you don't want to do, and you're going to get a discount, minimum 20% on all your future Stampin' Up! orders. So, yay! All right, you guys. I hope you are having a very happy Friday. I wish you a wonderful weekend. It is Memorial Day weekend here in the United States. And you guys have yourselves a wonderful weekend. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.